Navigating Conversations, New Paths to Ask About Distance. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on English conversational skills. Today, we're focusing on asking about distance, but with a twist. We're exploring the alternative ways to ask about distance. So, if you're tired of simply asking, how far is it? This video is perfect for you. Firstly, let's look at some synonyms of the word, far. Knowing these will help us craft a wider variety of questions about distance. 1. Distant, is it a distant location? 2. Remote, is the place remote? 3. A good way off, is the restaurant a good way off? These synonyms will not only enrich your vocabulary but also make your speech sound more natural and varied. Next, a really practical way to ask about distance indirectly is to ask about travel time. This is useful because the time it takes to reach a place can be more informative than the actual distance. Here are some examples. 1. How long does it take to get there? 2. What's the travel time to the museum? 3. Approximately. How much time will it take to reach the beach? A clever and indirect way to ask about distance is by questioning the convenience of getting to the place. Here are some phrases you can use. 1. Is it an easy walk to the cafe? 2. Is the station a quick drive from here? 3. Can I get to the library without much hassle? These kinds of questions often elicit responses that give you an idea about the distance without directly asking for it. Lastly, you can inquire about the distance by using landmarks. This gives you both a sense of direction and distance. 1. Is it beyond the park? 2. Do I have to pass the school to get there? 3. Is it near the supermarket? This is a smart way to ask about distance because it provides you with context, making it easier to visualize where you're going. And that's it. Folks, we hope these alternative ways to ask about distance will add color to your English conversations and make asking for directions an exciting task. Remember, variety is the spice of life, and the same holds for language. The more diverse your speech, the more engaging and effective your communication will be. We hope you found this video helpful and are looking forward to seeing you in our next one. Happy learning!